Welcome to the 2021 Misha Football in-season training video number two. I'm Kenny Seifert, the Director of Football Officiating. I want to commend all of the officials and coaches who took the time to review the football instructional video number one over the last two weeks. As a reminder, these videos are providing information and expectations on how the game is to be officiated. In addition to reviewing the videos, please make sure that you are reading the rule book, case book, and officials manual, along with spending time talking football with other officials and mentors. There is no substitution for preparation, knowledge, and application. I hope that everyone has had a very good start to the season and that the Jamborees and Week 1's contests are a sign of great things to come. Remember that a pass intentionally thrown into an area not occupied by an eligible receiver or thrown incomplete to save a loss of yardage or to conserve time is illegal. The referee needs to have a sense of whether or not the quarterback is intentionally grounding the ball and is the only official that should have a flag for intentional grounding. If R has doubt regarding the intentional grounding, R should either make a mental note, drop a beanbag, or stand at the yard line where the pass was thrown. If applicable, the appropriate covering official needs to bring information to R regarding eligible receivers in the area. The covering wing official should not toss a flag. In addition, the penalty is five yards from the spot of the foul and loss of down. R's flag is on the A6 yard line, which should result in third and 16 at A's three yard line since it would be a half distance penalty. It appears that the officials enforced the penalty five yards from the previous spot with the loss of down. A receiver attempting to catch a pass who has not had time to clearly become a runner is a defenseless player. Spearing is an act by any player who initiates contact against an opponent at the shoulders or below with the crown of the helmet. In this play, number 16 in white makes a very nice catch across the middle and is still in the air meaning he has not had a chance to become a runner when number six in green leads with his helmet on the attempted tackle. This action is spearing and the rule is in place to protect both the tackler and the receiver. It is a 15 yard penalty whether the choice of the official was an illegal hit against a defenseless player or spearing. Targeting is any act by any player who takes aim and initiates contact against an opponent above the shoulders with the helmet forearm, hand, fist, elbow, or shoulders. This is a classic targeting by number 16 in white as he leads with his helmet and made contact above the shoulders. The crew did a nice job of getting a flag on this play. Let these next two forward progress plays be a reminder that there is a difference between the NFHS and the NCA rule when it comes to a runner starting his slide when giving himself up. In most cases, we are referring to the quarterback. The NCA rule is that the runner is down when he begins his slide. The NFHS rule is the runner is down when his knees first touch the ground. Nice job by the linesman in both of these plays as the spot appears to be very close to where the knees first touched. Prior to a change of possession or when there is no change of possession, no player from A or K shall go out of bounds and return to the field during the down unless blocked out of bounds by the opponent. A5 illegally participated as he was not blocked out of bounds. Nice job getting a hat on the ground when A5 stepped out. However, we should have a flag at the point that A5 re-entered the playing field, which was around the 10 yard line. Since this was a loose ball foul, the basic spot would actually be the previous spot, which was the 27 yard line. The 15-yard illegal participation penalty placed the ball at A's 42-yard line. Again, very nice job by the crew in catching the infraction and assessing the penalty. Definitely missed an offensive holding takedown by number 57 in white on this play. The left tackle on this play is R's key, meaning the opposite tackle. The linesman may also be able to help get this penalty as well, especially if the referee's line of sight has been obstructed, which might have been the case in this play. First off, the linebacker B23 in white in this play demonstrates an outstanding ability in making the tackle on A6. However, 
there is definite illegal helmet contact on this play. B-23 initiates contact against A-6 with the front of his helmet, and this would fall under the face tackling definition and should have been penalized accordingly. Rule 2-32 Article 9. A lineman is any A player who is facing his opponent's goal line with the line of his shoulders approximately parallel thereto and with his head or foot breaking an imaginary plane drawn to the line of scrimmage through the waist of the snapper when the ball is snapped. Even though we do not have a direct line view of the line of scrimmage, it appears that without a doubt, these three quick photos are obvious that this formation is not legal. Remember, this is an unfair advantage for the offense. We must get the obvious plays. We have had a wonderful start to the 2021 season. As we approach weeks number two and three, continue to work together, work hard, and have a great attitude. Be professional in your communications with the coaches. Good luck over the next two weeks, and I will revisit you for video number three.